Brian Kelly, 12 seasons, mentioned that. Only Nick Saban and Mac Brown have more total wins among active FBS coaches. He's got two division national, two, two division two national championships from his time at Grand Valley State. You have a connection to the Cowboys. You have a connection to LSU. That's where you played your college football. We're a first round pick in the NFL. We know athletic director Scott Woodward his reputation is landing a big fish. He did yeah. so with Chris Peterson at Washington. He did so with Jimbo Fisher at Texas A&M. He did the same thing with Brian Kelly. <laughs> what are you hearing within the walls of LSU yeah. about this hire? It's substance. It's a substance hire. And I know, look, Lincoln Riley was the hot name, obviously, yeah. right? We get, for, for our eyes and our ears, that was sexy. Like, get Lincoln Riley, everything's fixed. This man has a 70, Brian Kelly has a 75% winning percentage over his career. Notre Dame has been in the college football playoff. They've been in the national championship during the BCS era. This is substance. LSU is tired of having peaks and valleys. That's that. The answer to the question is, win a championship in 2019, go five and five the next season. This season, you have a middle of the pack, not even ranked in the top 25. Les Miles, win a championship, yep. team falls off. Get back good, team falls off. A consistent level of winning is what this Brian Kelly hire is about. Now, here's the benefit for Brian Kelly. And, and the reason why earlier today on first take, I said LSU is a top five job. You don't leave Notre Dame, bro. Exactly. When you winning, <laughs> he's the winningest coach in Notre Dame history. You do not leave Notre Dame unless you think your next destination is a national championship. To win one, not to get there. Yeah, but, not, go but ahead. That's, that's, that's very much the case. Yes. He played in the BCS National Championship, got thumps. That got was the thumped Manti by Alabama. Team. Yep. He's been in the college football play. It was all about, look, I win 10, 11 games a year here at Notre Dame. No it's doubt. still not good enough. No doubt. But because, Matt B, people, see, I'm an SEC guy, so pe people go crazy on me. You're going to have better players when you coach in the SEC. I, I'm sorry. You, are. you have a few teams in other conferences that will have really good teams. That's why you see Ohio State can dominate a Big Ten. I'm not trying to knock the Big Ten. Penn State has been good. Michigan has been good. Everybody has had their history. But when you want to win a national championship once you get to the college football playoff, and I see y'all talk about this every week, why do you think they're scared to put Cincinnati in the Final Four? Because they don't want a game to be 56 to 14. Right. Because it's going to set them back from a group of five team getting in again. When I was covering college, it was the same thing with, with the school out of Florida. What's the name? The UCF. UCF. They were nervous about if we get these guys to a playoff. We saw it with Michigan State. We saw it with Washington. Those were SEC schools that did that. Ohio State. They're not nervous about putting They're them in. They're built like a Southern not team. Not worried about it. Mm -hmm. Michigan this year. Mm -hmm. Up front, line of scrimmage. Brian Kelly was at Notre Dame. He was going to continue to have successful seasons. He was going to continue to get thumped when he faced Georgia, Alabama, or LSU at their best. What Brian Kelly recognized is, I can win 11 games at LSU, and when I get into the college football playoff, it comes down to coaching. Because the players that will be staring back at my players will be the same type of guys. That's what it boils down to. So I was going to say, I mean, the leash, if you want to say it that way, yeah. has to be pretty short then, right? I mean, because the last, what, three coaches that have come to LSU have done it, yes. have won the national championship. And so if you're Brian Kelly and you're leaving that, this has to happen quickly, safe. doesn't it? It's safe to say Brian Kelly is probably under the most pressure of any Anybody. coach ever in the history of LSU. He is. Like, this, first of all, you just got rid of a coach that won a national championship three years ago. Yeah. Like, it's not – we're not coming off of a, a drought. When we won in 2003, it had been 45 years. That's when Nick Saban – everybody was like, oh, this dude can coach. Yeah. Les Miles came in. What was the talk? He got a lot of Nick Saban guys. He should be good. 2011 was the big battle with Julio Jones and Patrick Peterson. Les Miles won a championship, went back to one. Yeah. Ed Ogeron won a championship. Nick Saban won a championship. So to have Brian Kelly come in, only it's about consistency and being relevant every single year of his tenure. That's what this hire was about. And another little nugget, Scott Woodward was at LSU when Nick Saban was brought from Michigan State. So it's not like he is unfamiliar yeah. with bringing a guy in that, because I, I heard this a lot. Well, is he going to fit the culture? Oh, don't get me started. Winning yeah. makes don't. you Silly. fit. 
That okay, is my stop with the. Nick yeah. Saban came from, from Michigan, Michigan State. State. <laughs> like, Les Miles came from. There, there's yeah, no let, such thing as that. Yeah, but but that part is how people justify when they don't get the coach they want. Brian Kelly is a really really good top football five. coach. He's top five. Period. 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 Now you have him at a university that's going to financially support him, and he's going to get players that come to win national championships, not to get there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.